Hi everybody, happy Saturday night. Dion here with the Turquoise Cyrus. We are going to just wrap up this makeover that I am calling, what am I calling it, Matt? Do you remember what I told you? Uh, green Acres. It's not Green Acres. Try again, that's green, not what I told you. Green Forest? Nope. Green Emerald? Nope, nope, nope. You're getting closer, warmer, warmer. Green? No, no green. No green? No green. Emerald Forest. Emerald, no, no Emerald Forest. This is not a forest, Woods. What garden. I named Emerald it? Garden. Emerald Garden. Yes. Took you only 20 times. I love it. I told him about five minutes ago, but that's okay. Kathy Anderson, how are you? I loved your new profile picture tonight. Um, so I decided to go ahead and call this one Emerald Garden. So I used the Midnight Garden Transfer as well as the Wander Garden uh, or the Wander Transfer from Iron Orchid Designs. Um, but the Green Acres, yeah, Kathy thinks that's funny. That's not right. That's not what I said. Um, so the other day, we actually ended up using uh, black and white wax on here to create this kind of shadowy effect. But tonight, we're going to turn it on the side. Hi, Kelly Weiler. Matt Kelly's here. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. It's been one week from our class. Can you believe time flies? It's been one week. Um, so tonight I'm going to turn and we're going to put wax on the sides. And then all we have left to do is to um, stain the top. We're going to keep the original wood color. I'm going to use a product called Dark and Decrepit. It's a liquid patina also from DIY. Um, it goes on so easily. It dries really quickly. And then I will seal this with some dark wax or... Um, big top. I really haven't decided what I want to totally seal it with on the top. Um, and then I've got to find new hardware. So I've got to go shopping for new hardware. I decided I really wanted to stick with some clear glass um, as to not distract, but to um, still make it look really, really pretty. So we're going to go with Emerald Garden. So if you're on YouTube and you want to go back and watch the entire playlist, go under Emerald Green Acres. Not Green Acres. Em you messed Emerald me up. Garden. Emerald Garden. Uh, okay. So just to give you a recap of the front, we started with all by DIY colors, Monet's Garden, Salty Kiss, Mint Chip. Once that was dry, we sprayed it with Bohemian Blue in a watered down or in a bottle of watered down paint. Once that dried, we actually um, put Golden Ticket, we let it spray and we let it drip. Um, it turned out really, really well. Then we started adding in our blue iris with our putty knife. Again, we sprayed that, let it drip. So we created this really great texture. Then we started applying transfer. So we went um, Wander, Midnight Garden, Wander, um, some more Midnight Garden, and then we wrapped it over there with Wander. Over, so we have it over here on the side, uh, but not over here. So like I said, um, Facebook would be a lot easier if you wanted to to go find it on YouTube. You can look under playlists and you can look under um, Emerald Garden. Garden. That's what it will be under. So I'm going to shift it right now and then we're going to do black and white wax complementing each other. And we're going to, so, oh, don't forget, I sanded these transfers. I ended up sanding them um, 220 grit on my sanding block. Um, the idea was that I really wanted to give it more of a hand painted look. Um, so sanding it and then putting the waxes over them, uh, really, it kind of softened it, but the, the waxes really gave it almost like a buttery effect. I absolutely love it. So let's show you what the side looks like without wax. I have a question. Hi everybody. I'm so thrilled you're here. If you are just popping on, you don't know who I am. My name is Dion Woods with the Turquoise Iris. Alrighty. Okay. That what's the, exciting. What's the question? Um, the question is, uh, Carol Kincaid, have a question? Hi, Carol. Who do, you, who do I buy DIY paint from Me. in a transfer? Local place that sells them are way expensive. Oh, really? Um, well, you can buy them online or um, you can use... Um, Jamie Ray? Yeah, you can go to J. Murray. There's a lot of online retailers that will sell them. Um, like Kelly Weiler's on here on Facebook right now. I know that she will ship you paint and she will ship you um, the transfers as well. You can go to girlupcycledstudio.com and I know that Kelly will, will do those things um, for you as well. So she's in Zanesville, Ohio and actually who we spent our weekend with last weekend. So, okay, so this is the Wander Transfer and I've sanded it down. We're gonna add some wax now. I'm gonna start with the white 
DIY wax. It's soft. It's not that kind of wax where you got to get in there and real hard. It's like butter. It's like it's like a heavy moisturizer. See? Like like butter. Like butter. Like butter. Mm -hmm. It's like butter. And um, so it's. I don't need very much. Actually, that's too much to start with. Uh, we have Nora Roxanne. She says, "Hey, hey from Nora? Germany. Hi from Germany. She, uh, here we have three thirty in the morning. Girl, why aren't you asleep at three thirty in the morning? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Couldn't sleep. Wanted to watch some paint videos, huh?" She had to let the dog out oh. of the restroom. Probably. <laughs> probably. Brenda Osborne from Ohio. Hi, Brenda. Made some lot of friends out there in Ohio, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Love that place. Okay, so I'm putting the white on. I'm going to take my rag and pull back some of the extra finish and let that golden ticket come shimmering through. It's Shaz Tommy here. Hi, Shaz. Day. She's here all the time. Yes, she is. Yeah, hang tight. We're going to use some black as well. I love the way the white and black wax looks over the golden ticket. You guys, if you haven't tried that, I want you to put that down on your to do list today. New Mexico. Oh, look at this one we have. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess this name up and I apologize. But... Try, try, try. To not mess Bada it up. Paparika. Okay. Amen. I think he may have gotten it wrong. I'm yeah. just going to guess. She's from India. Hi, India. That's not her name. She's I from know. India. I know that, sweetie. Uh, New Mexico. Uh, uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay, uh, Misty Bowman. Hi, Misty. Did you pick your harbor yet? Nope, I have not. We, um, we had a family Christmas today at my house. So, um... Boy, I haven't been to the store. Let's just say that. I haven't been shopping at all. But that's my next thing. Matt's going to work on the top. And I'm going to go get new hardware. And hopefully get this thing finished so we can show you the finished look. Uh, Carol Kincaid, Hi. she wants to uh, your website that she can order from. Um, girlupcycledstudio.com. You can order the transfer from there. I know that Kelly will ship them to you, and I was at her studio last week, so I know she had a bunch of them. Um, you can also go to Jamie Ray Vintage. Um, if you were local to my area, you would go to Reclaimed Warehouse and pick them up there, and paint and transfers are there, as well as Paint Pixie brushes. Okay. Uh... Tanya R, I did not fix the drawer yet, but I will once she's done painting it, and then I will, once I sand it, get the top done, and then I will fix the drawer at that point. They asked if you would show them how you're going to fix it, and um, I was like, oh, we don't usually do videos like that out in the garage or whatever, but we could talk about how you fix it. Maybe, maybe. you could kind of go back, you could do it, and then show them what you did, maybe. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. So a lot of people on here who... Um, you know, buy pieces to to flip and sell, and they want to know how to do those kind of things that they've never done before. So I'm pulling some of this white back off and really letting that gold, and there's blue and the green. It's so pretty, you guys. Andrea Parks, is shipping furniture usually expensive? Yeah, it usually is. It, it's, it can be. I mean. It can be. It can be, you know, a piece like this would cost me probably $300. Um, but of course, I charge the customer that. I don't pay it. I, I charge the customer. But that's all I've ever done is ship furniture. Okay, Karen Brown has a question for Hi, me. Hi, Karen. Mm -hmm. For me. Uh -huh. for, oh, for I'm me. sorry. Go ahead. It says, how can I find a Christmas tree light bulb causing outage in middle string of lights on my Christmas tree? An electrical question. I love it. And I'm going to give you Karen? the answer that I give everybody. Which is? Go buy a new set of Christmas lights. They're uh -oh. cheap. Oh, they're cheap? They Christmas are? lights? Christmas lights? For trees? For trees? Yeah, it's like eight bucks. But what if it's already on her tree and she doesn't want to like take it back? Oh, no, that's true. Like what they, if it's... they sell a they sell a, a a kit. It helps you find it. I think they sell them at hardware stores. Yeah, I saw um, that online. Yeah, they have them online. Uh, it makes the job a little easier because those are tedious and that are paying. And pain it helps career. you find where the missing light is, right? Yes. It That's causing an outage. It, yeah, which one the light bulb is. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to grab the black. 
I'm gonna only apply it just kind of on the edge to kind of create some shadowing. I love this look. Over the white. Hey, Bridger said she, she, she likes to do her own fixes, so she'd be interested in how to fix the drawer. So we'll do something on the drawer. At least we'll have, uh, I'll fix it, and then either we do a video or we can just tell them how we did it. Yeah. Hi, Patty. Oh, yes. You see what we're doing over here, Woods? Oh, I love the way this flows down in here. It's flowing very it's nicely. It's flowing very nicely. <laughs> I like the glow of it. As Kathy Anderson would say, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, Karen, she said boo. <laughs> she didn't like my answer. She, she bought she, that. Thing. She said she bought the thing today, but still having trouble. Oh, that's so Oh, that's I'm bad. sorry. It's a pain. I, I know they're a pain sometimes. But they do have kits that that, uh, that you can buy online or maybe even your, your local hardware store. It'll uh, it'll help you uh, locate the problem. But she says she can't find it. She bought one of those. Oh, she did buy one. She says I bought oh, one of those. Oh, she bought that thing today. Oh, yeah. I thought she said she bought the lights today. No. Oh no. Now what does she do? Oh, we got Manny Driscoll. What? What? She donated ten dollars, honey. What? She did. Andy Driscoll, Merry Christmas to so you. Equipment. She, we, we, our videos are, 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 they could be a little better. Oh, so she's helping us out here. She's helping us out here. That's super awesome. fan money. Thanks, Thank you so much for being a super I've fan. I've been doing a ton of research on this. So, yeah, yeah, he has. I've been watching lots of videos and I'm listening to them. Uh, Wendy Miller, yeah, super chat. Thank you so much. Super chat, super fan. What, what? Uh, super awesome. Super awesome. Hashtag it. Uh oh, Carol Iverson on the Facebooks. Hi, Carol. I used the wrong color wax on a project. Is there a way to fix? Sure, there is. What color did you use? And if you want to pull a colored wax off, you can use clear wax basically as an eraser. Try it. It's it a really good works. Mandy Driscoll says super woods. No, it's the truth. If you, like, if I got too much black right here on this, what I would do is use my clear wax, rub it back, and it acts kind of as an eraser. So don't panic. Don't panic. Um, okay, I'm, I'm loving the way this looks. I do want to put a little bit black, a little bit more black over the flowers, and then I'm going to go do the other side. Now, there's no flowers on the other side. I wanted to go ahead and just leave it without any flowers. I'm going to actually put the black in a circle over these flowers that have sanded down with my 220 grit. Uh, Christine on the Facebook, how did you become so amazingly talented? Ah, were, you, were you an art major? I have not majored in art. I have never had an art class. Um, you, ma you majored in awesome. I majored in awesome, honey. Thank you. You're sweet. I um. I haven't had an art class or anything like that. I've just painted a lot of things and some of them have been really terrible. But in order to do really nice things, you have to do really terrible to find out what you know works and to find out what you love. Everybody on Instagram giving me the waves. I wanna say wave to you too. Thank you so much. Wave, wave, wave on Instagram. Um, I just know that I've painted some things that I've really, really not liked and you've never seen them. And in order to get better, you have to allow yourself to not do well. You have to allow yourself to work through the process and you have to allow yourself to go, you know what? I don't like this. So I'm just going to keep going until I like it. You have to do that, especially on furniture. Most of the time, if you get a good solid piece of furniture, you're not going to give up on it. You're not going to stop, but you will take risks and sometimes you need to just work 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 until you get to where you love it but i don't have any background i've just got nine years experience on furniture moving into my 10th year uh nora roxanne has hi, a question hi she nora said, what is the difference between a black and dark wax dark is brown black is well black but the our dark brown is just um like a antique walnut color 
and, and, and it's so true that I've always been saying for years now, guys, it's going through the ugly phase. It's going through the, the awkward teenage phase. It has to get through that stage. You don't just throw a canvas together and all of a sudden have a beautiful picture. It's layers and stages and days and days and days. We're on day seven for this makeover just to get it to this. Day seven, okay? Okay, we have one for on, on the YouTubes, Naomi. Naomi, hi. Mm -hmm. Hi from Florida. Your hand-painted floral pieces are spectacular. What kind of paint Thank you. do you use over chalk paint? Oil paints, acrylic paint? Acrylic. And can you wax after? Yes, you can wax. You can definitely wax, but I love to, um, I love to use my DIY paints on my backdrops. Um, you can put Big Top over that if you want to. You can seal it with one of our other products. Um, you don't have to, or you can wax. We've actually, um, one of the a painting Quita Allen and I did together, um, we actually waxed over the base coat and then we started adding flowers from there. Um, play around with it a little bit. Um, but we put, um, I actually, I love to do my base coat DIY paint, which is a clay base, and then I love to add um, acrylic and then I will seal it. I have never mixed oils with clay, my clay base DIY paint. I've actually never done that before. Um, Janet Britt on the YouTube. Hi, Janet. If How you have a piece you? of furniture with a glossy surface, do you prime it first? If so, what do you use? I don't prime at all. When I use DIY paint, um, there's absolutely no reason to prime. Um, I might sand it a little bit if it's got that nasty 1970s ugly varnish on it, um, just because I want it gone. Um, but the best thing about clay-based paints is it sticks to anything, and there's no sanding and priming involved. I haven't used priming primer since I used latex paint. What if it's years like that ago. really, 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 really shiny veneer? Oh, honey, we don't paint veneer. You just don't, you won't even paint it. No, I don't like to buy pieces that have veneer on them. Um, but if it's really, 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 14 reallys later shiny, um, what I just said was I will lightly sand it um, just to kind of rough it up a just little rough bit. It, just a little but bit. But I don't use primer at all. Um, the clay really acts as um, a very durable surface, especially the longer that it cures. Uh, the top is actually going to be stained. Um, completely, completely stained. So as you see right here, guys, I have it, I've, I painted it green right here on the top because I wasn't sure what I was I'll going to do. Um, yeah, we'll be sanding that back down. So all of this will be the natural oak. Um, I'm gonna take dark and decrepit and it's gonna be a lot darker. Um, and then the glass, I've gotta go find some glass knobs is what I'm hoping to find. The original was just, or it's not even original. They were like midway through, mm, they're ugly. This is really nice, Jody Blavo. Hi, Jody. Blavo, Blavo. Uh, I've never touched a paintbrush until this year. Then I found your videos, Dion. Really? She said, she said you're an inspiration. Oh, heavy. It's very nice. Glad Thank you. That. Who said nice. that again? Uh, Jody. Jody on YouTube or Facebook? No, on the Facebooks. Oh, Jody, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to share with me. I'm so glad that you know you were inspired. It's, yeah, it's good. Painting is such That's a nice. it's, it's such a healing thing, and it's fun, and it entertains us, and it keeps our mind busy. You know, a lot of times it'll help us work through issues, and um, I mean, sometimes just turning up the music and just. Creating and then all of a sudden you've you know hours later have gone by and you've got something that you either quite proud of or you've at least learned something through it all. So I don't have the transfer on this side and I want to just keep it bare. So I'm just kind of going through and putting some of the wax. I'm going to add some black. Okay, my woods, you're quiet. Is everybody gone or did they leave or no, what? No, 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 no. We're just, I'm just reading through all these nice, uh... The nice ones? Mm-hmm. All those super uh, fans? We also have a Jody Spice of Life on the YouTube. She oh. said this Jody loves Dion, too. Oh, <laughs> Judy's over the... Lots and, and, of love floating around. Thank you so much. And Christine also says, yes, pain has helped with anxiety. So oh, that's good. I can relate to that totally. I know uh, what that's Gail like. Lopez, Hi, Gail. I yes. love you. Uh, do you clear wax first? Nope. Girl, I'm supposed to tell you that you're supposed to, but I just, 
I've skipped that step many, many years ago. Um, if you've never used a colored wax, I highly recommend you use clear first. It helps you control the colors and not get too much. Um, I personally have been doing it with so so many years that I don't apply the clear first. But Gail, if, if it makes you feel more comfortable, then please do that. <laughs> I'm going to wipe a little bit of this back and then come in with my black. Uh, what brand of acrylics do you use? Uh, just varies. I have Artist Touch, Master's Touch, or Artist Loft. I have some golden over there. Um, yeah, not the real high-end stuff. My, the nicest stuff would probably be the golden paints. Um, but I have a lot more of the uh, Master's Touch that you get and um, Artist Loft. I have a lot more of that. Do you have any classes coming up? I do. I have a, a class in February coming up right here in Oklahoma City um, where I sell the paint, where I do most of my workshops. February 8th, the tickets are available on my website at theturquoisiris.com. Um, and then I will have one coming up very soon after that. Are but I'm doing, not telling you where yet. Are you doing any online classes or anything? Um, in order to take an online class, I do them every month. But in order to be in the online, you have to um, be in my Creative Connection, which is my membership group where I do all kinds of things, including tutorials. So that we open up January 1st. And it's a monthly fee, but you get all, you get all kinds of training involved in that. But I do online paint tutorials step by step by step every month in my Creative Connection. And you can join that by just sign, getting on the waiting list and then registering on January 1st. Connie Crenshaw. Hi, Connie. On the uh, Facebook, she said, I have completed my first piece. What, what? good job. It is not perfect, but she likes it. I well, good I job. I can't wait to start another piece. You make it look so easy. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm so glad. Good for you. Thanks for sharing that. On Saturday, I don't know, if was she on YouTube or Facebook? Uh, that would be the Facebooks. Okay, on Saturday morning, I always post a share. So you can go on to my post on Saturday and you can share your project that you've been working on. I like everybody to be you know, able to. Is that for anybody and everybody? Anybody and everybody. You go to the Turkey Cyrus on Saturday mornings at 8.30 Central Time. And I will, uh, I, I uh, want everybody to share what they've been working on. And it's just a, it's a really fun post that I've been doing for about a year and a half. You can see a lot of nice stuff on there, huh? Oh, yeah. And sometimes I, I uh, end up sharing them on my page as well. Connie said she uh, did, she did post her pic, which is great. Oh, good. Yep. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so this is the black. I'm kind of rubbing over part of the white. So I see shimmer, blue, green, black, white. Um, the white gives it like this powdery look. It's so pretty, you guys. And then the gold with the black looks makes it look like it's hammered, like a hammered finish. So you're just wiping off just a little bit. Yeah, just in case there's any clumps or anything. I mean, it's a little bit wipes off, but not much. I'm not doing the black over all the white, just in some areas, like the, the black shadowing. And then leaving a little bit of white and go back with the white in the center and just kind of highlight it there. I love this. All right. I love it. I want it to be done, Matthew. Will you finish it tomorrow at the top? Yeah. I'm you. so excited. I, to... I told you we work on it. I'm it so just excited. depends on the weather because I'm going to take, if I have to go outside with it. You'll have to go outside, I think. But we have a family dinner too, yeah. or a family lunch. We got to find out what time. Okay. Okay. So back to the front. Um, we've just about got it, you guys. The only thing we have left to do is to find four new knobs and four new pulls, fix, kind of do some basics, fix this drawer where it doesn't go all the way back in. Um, it's called Emerald Garden. And on Pinterest, excuse me, on um, YouTube, you can find it under the playlist called Emerald Garden. And um, I'm gonna take a bunch of photos. I promise you, I'll post some updated pics. Thank you, Lisa Jordan on Facebook. I appreciate you saying that. 
Um, this has been a lot of fun and it is for sale, but I decided that I wasn't quite sure. I may actually, um, I may actually what? keep it. What are you doing? Keep, what are you keeping? I don't know. Part of me wants to keep it. No, my office. no, we have, no, because that, you're going to put it where my desk goes. That's where my desk goes. Where's your desk? Where the other piece is that you'd have to move to put that one. I know. Okay. Oh, I kind of love it. Okay, though. question. Andrea Parks on Andrea. YouTube. Okay, on YouTube. Your opinion. Since you are such an artist, do you think you can add IOD transfers on a French... Provincial. Yeah. Furniture. Or is the style and hardware make it too much? Oh, you can definitely do that. I have done that before. Um, I've definitely added a transfer to French Provincial. Um, and I'm not sure I'm saying it correctly, but I know I'm saying it better than that. Um, every time I say that, um, this is Kathy Anderson, thank you. Um, every time I say that, someone says I say it wrong. Um, there are, gosh, there's probably at least three or four of their transfers that I think would be perfect for that style of furniture. So um, take a look. I would think, I mean, as far as you saying it's too much, well, I mean, someone might say that these are too much for this piece. So it's all in um, what you love. That's but I feel like, art, right? yeah, I feel like for sure you can do some of their florals. I even think the Japonica would be pretty with the French Provincial, but you could even just use a rubber stamp. Um, there's some script that you could use, um, and you could use this in um, combination with one of the transfers, and just use the script. You could do um, the toile. You could do the French Rose Toile. It's a stamp, and I have it somewhere over there. You could do something like that on the French Provincial piece, and I think that would be beautiful. Oh, thank you, Birch Boutique on Instagram. I appreciate you. Barbara Hope, there you are, girl. How are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Um, Got some good questions coming up, honey. Okay, go, go, shoot. Oh, are you done? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Lynn, hence, hen, uh, Lynn Lewis, I've been watching you, but don't remember how you got that champagne color shimmer look. Golden Ticket from DIY Paint. It's a watered down liquid patina. Um, I think it was in episode five. We, four? Four or five. Um, and you can see all of those back on Facebook or on YouTube under the Turquoise Iris. And if you will, guys, I've been trying to go um, live about 8.30 Central Time. If you'll go to YouTube and turn on the little bell, ding, you'll get a notification immediately as soon as I go live. Thank you. Do you ever sell pieces while you're doing live? Yes. That yes. Was, I'm sorry, that was for Betsy Kelly on the, on the Facebook. Betsy, sometimes I will get a private message that says I'd like to buy that. Um, and so I have sold them before I finish them. Yeah, that's always such a nice okay, thing. Okay, you're really on me about keeping this. Good. Place. And my fans are turning against me. Your fans are turning against you. I do have my lamps. I, you didn't get to finish the live. Um, Connie, I have them plugged back in in my bedroom. Um, they're over on like a side dresser. <coughs> Voice is getting scratchy, guys. Um, but I did finish them. I love them. I put the original shades back on and they're going to work from now. What I was thinking was I would put them both on this dresser in my office and keep this. Hmm. No. But he says he's has to get That's a desk. That's where my desk is. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. More Sarah, questions? Sarah? Anyone? Sarah? Yeah. On YouTube, do you I, press down hard on your brush while applying the wax? I do. Why does my paint come off when I'm waxing? Love learning. Your paint comes off when you're waxing. Is it maybe not dry yet? It sounds like you haven't let it dry long enough. Um, we did. This paint has been dried for a while. We painted this before we went to Ohio, right? Yeah. Or did we paint yeah, this when no, we got we, back? No, we painted it when, before we left and we did transfers when we got back. Okay, so this paint has literally been a week, but I don't always do that. Um, so maybe don't press down quite as hard then. Um, but I didn't have any of the paint pull back off. Um, I would just say check your curing time and just make sure it's really, really dry. It could be too humid. It could be oh, uh, keeping the moisture. Possible. And is it DIY paint? What paint is it that you're using? I would need to know that too. Barbara Sullivan says yes. Yes, and Lynn says, yes, I did paint it before I went to Ohio. So <coughs> it's had quite a few days. 
Yeah, she's using DIY. Waving to everybody over there on Instagram. Thank you so much. What's up, Instagram? They're IG. They're IG. It's, IG that's right, babe. You're, you're getting so clever with I'm that. I'm down with Nalina. Yes, you are. I'm with There's it. 20 thumbs up on YouTube. Thank How you long guys. How should it drive before Wax and Carol can get it out? I just give it 24 hours here in Oklahoma. Like, that works for me usually. 24 hours and then I wax the next day. Because it does get pretty humid here in the summertime as well. Sometimes the brush is stiff and hard. And what I do, um, if it gets stiff, I actually get on my drop cloth or on a towel and I rub back and forth and I totally soften it back up. That's all I do, and it works perfectly. I don't start with the stiff brush as far as waxing, Patty. Any more questions? Yeah, I'm they, here for now, it. now everybody's saying sell, 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 sell. I mean, there's just tons of sell. Oh, five more thumbs up on YouTube, so thank you guys so much. Um, you know what? I will sell it if someone wants it, um, but I was looking at it today and thinking, I want to paint my walls um, in my office like this really light shade of turquoise like the lightest shade of turquoise possible and i just thought this green would like pop on it you know what i mean you, you think i need to paint a piece for matt mm. <laughs> i, I get that. lots of pieces you paint for me i could do that yeah what do you mean you get alice one? is here right? alice it, they're sorry alice is here yeah she said a little late but she she made it there she is she says it's looking so beautiful hi alice Kathy Anderson says no. Um, Carol is getting ready to wax. Uh, Nana, Nana's workshop. Hi, Nana. Yeah. How do you clean your wax brushes, Dion? I don't do anything to clean them. I've never cleaned them. I've never applied moisture to them. Um, that's a common question that I get. So what I do is I will, when I'm done, I'm going to go over here to my my drop cloth. I'm going to go like this all around, twist it around, get all the extra wax off. And then when I go to start using it again, I do the exact same thing. So right before I went live, I went like this on my drop cloth. And here it is. I've been using this for over a year. This exact same one for my white waxes. Um, that's all I do. I always say don't tell Josie with, with Pink Pixie, but she knows. She, she knows. might get mad at you. She knows though, but I don't know what else to do. I am not... Um, I am not. He's teasing me. I didn't realize he was teasing me, but of course he is. It's what I do. Um, you just keep it for yourself. It fits like the emerald jewel. Thank you. We're gonna call it Emerald Garden, and um, this was the Wander transfer mixed with the Midnight Garden. We had five shades, five okay. colors of DIY paint, including the gold and including the white and black wax, and then we'll put dark and decrepit up on top. For the win! Um, Queen's Little Corner would like to see, and maybe we can do this when we show the reveal, maybe, or something, or I don't know, but the inside of the drawers. The inside of the drawers. Okay. Well, when they have hardware, how about that? <laughs> yeah. Like, when they have yeah, hardware, like, so I can get... Like, you can do a little reveal, you know? Like, like, like we can Vanna White the thing. We can Vanna White the thing. Right. On it's the live, we'll the do Emerald Vanna, Garden. and then we'll, you know, pull the drawers out, and we'll have pretty music. Pretty and... music. You can't play pretty music on the lives. Well, I'll play my Get Fiddle. Get Fiddle. Um, Angelica on YouTube. Dion, what inspires you before you paint a piece of furniture? You know what? I have totally been in love with Monet's garden since I came home from Paris. So every piece that I've done since then has been um, totally Paris inspired by all my photographs. I have about a thousand photos that I took um, and I just save them on my phone and scroll through them. Um, I am inspired by nature more than anything. A hundred percent by flowers. Um, on Pinterest, I will pin things like churches. I pin things like lighthouses, sunsets, wildflowers, um, those are some of my absolute favorite things. I also um, will pin like crumbling walls or, you know, worn walls. worn walls and lots of patina and texture. And then I go and I study those images and then I kind of translate that into a piece of furniture. I also, three years ago, I started a series called Doors Around the World. And I would, three years ago, I would post an image of a door and then I would try to interpret that into a piece of furniture. That's when I started doing wardrobes. That was the very first time because wardrobes are huge and expansive, but like the best 
uh, the best canvas possible. So I would find a door on Pinterest and then I would show it and then I would show my interpretation. Um, and of course it wasn't just a like, but I would watch the way the colors faded and the way the weather, the way the door wore, um, and try to interpret that and you know do that systematically on what would be a piece of furniture. Yeah. So that was a great question. Thanks. You you haven't seen me do a sunset. Sunset? Oh, Derek Carlton. Uh, I've been no. doing three, four, five, six. I don't know. I've done a ton of sunsets. Um, you have to go so back cool, yeah. to my Pinterest board. Or you can scroll back through my Instagram and they're all right there. Instagram is such a great way. And also on Pinterest, if you go to um, my furniture makeovers, it's one of my boards and every piece I've ever done is on that board and it goes back to 2012. Jim Flywell, uh, do your drawers ever get stuck when you're using a lot of Occasionally, water? yeah. Occasionally, yeah. But I just use like a my um, putty knife or flathead screwdriver. I get it. It's not a big deal. Um, Any more, baby? Yeah, I want I want to thank you for your videos. I need Thanks. an extra income because You're I'm welcome. a new mom, and now thanks to you, I feel like I can start new flipping mom. furniture in my house and be able to do it. Yes, so you can. Nice. That's why I do it. I always think about. Um, I always and I I coach this in my group. I always think about that single mom of two kids that um, could take a piece from the trash pile outside and turn it into something um, and seriously make a profit off of it. And what if she made $200 on that? Like she could buy groceries, she could buy a new bat, she could buy new cleats, she could buy all kinds of things. Um, so I, I just at some point realized this was my responsibility to share what I'm doing um, because someone else might be able to benefit from it. <sighs> Thank you so much. Um. Haha, uh -huh. if you say it in French accent, then that's how you pronounce it. Jody Flavel. Flavel. Um, if I say what? Oh, what did I Your say? Last name, maybe? All right. Flavel. Flavel. Oh, it's Jody Flavel. I think that's it. Any more questions, or should uh, I let them go to Melanie bed? Melanie Mel, have you ever painted animals on furniture? I have never painted an animal. Mm -mm. I tried peacock once on a canvas. That was terrible. Oh my gosh, we got top 10, uh, Lisa Jordan. She's been following you since 2012. 2012, Lisa Jordan. I haven't even been following you that long. I was measured by, by your, you, you haven't. I know. I haven't followed, oh, Lisa Jordan, honey, thank you so much. She needs to come to class so we can meet her. Well, you need to come to class. You need to come on, Just, hug my neck. Hey, hashtag more Matt, let's get this done. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you so much, Lisa. Where do you live, Lisa? I did a butterfly. You're peacock, right, Patty. You did peacock. And... Laura, erase it from your memory. <laughs> Anybody? Did everybody leave me on YouTube? Or are they no, going? YouTube's going Any strong. More questions? No, okay. YouTube's, they're, All right. they're after. All right. They're, they're, well, they're, they're, we're, I'm hoping that tomorrow we will have the top done and we can show you that. Um, or at least Matt will have it sanded so I can apply the dark and decrepit. And then um, I'll try. I probably won't make it to the store tomorrow to get hardware, guys, because we have a big family. Um, is it Christmas? No, it's not on Christmas. That was today. Uh, it's birthday. It's your sister's birthday. My sister's birthday. Yeah. Um, I, th I think they're, they're about petered out, honey. They're going to bed. They're going That's to right. bed, winding it down. So, guys, thank you so much. Saturday night. Appreciate you hanging out because this is how we party. This is how we creatives do it. Um, We'd love to do you something ocean and beach themed. Uh, Lisa, um, It's it's been a little bit, but that seems to be <coughs> the piece that I posted two weeks ago. I called it tie-dye. It was more like a sea glass. People were naming it sea glass because I was using turquoises and bohemian blue. It had a little bit of green and yellow with some shimmer. It turned out really, really pretty, but you'll have to see that on my Instagram or my Facebook. Um, so anyway, thank you, Rainbow505. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you, and we'll be back tomorrow night around about the same time central. Um, for now, go tonight. Go to bed. It'll be awesome. See ya. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye.